ACORN National Spokesperson Scott Levinson joins me now. Hello, Scott. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? So what happened in, um, in Nevada? They say that you, uh, you just made up a bunch of names. Well, I mean, there are several things that are going on. We've said all along throughout the fall, over the last several months, that we never had a quota system. We never paid people by the individual form. And I think what you'll find when the Nevada facts roll out is that's exactly what's the case. Yeah, you never, you, you've and never offered anybody money to, you know, if you get extra, there's no blackjack system. No, 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 no let, let's be clear that across the board nationally, ACORN has a system of not paying people. Okay, but what about signature. Nevada? In Nevada, we had a guy who was doing something that was wrong, quite frankly, Glenn. Okay, so our supervisor, our supervisor okay. found out about it, ordered him to stop. Okay. It seems that what in fact happened is he didn't stop. But what I, I okay, think hang on just a second. I just want to make sure I understand. Yeah. So you're saying Acorn didn't do it? No, I'm actually saying that Acorn, as a matter of national policy, does not have. Okay. So I understand. I, I mean Nevada. Yes, correct. In Nevada, you didn't do it. It was what? In fact, it? it was an employee. It was an employee. Correct. So you had a bad employee. We had a bad employee. Okay. Um. Let me ask you this. In Missouri, eight workers pleaded guilty to election fraud. Mm -hmm. Washington State, seven indicted, three pleaded guilty. Colorado, two convicted of perjury for false registration forms. Do you want to take these one at a time? No, no, no. Wisconsin, workers charged with election fraud for following out false forms to meet daily quotas. New Mexico, forced to run background checks because nine acorn employees when had felony you records. This from? Glenn, where are you reading this from? This is just out of the news. You have but again, it's out of the news. States. No, no, you have 14 mm -hmm. states. Your, your, your employees pleaded guilty. Correct. So, right. So, what you're asking me to believe is that you guys are innocent. Well, what it's I'm, just that you have bad employees. What I'm asking you to believe, as I would ask you to believe with any major corporation that right. has employee theft. When there is a okay. Let me finish the thought. No, please let me just finish the thought. Let's just because it's actually. No, no. Glenn, please, to, let me give it one one step no, further. Go, because go ahead. please, if you just go ahead. In each of the cases that you walked us through, mm -hmm. we've turned over evidence to the authorities. I, in each of the cases, I know. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, you're saying you guys have bad employees. You've had really fourteen. I know. It happens. Every company has bad employees. Thirteen thousand employees. You had your bad apples. Let me show you another bad employee. Can we can we roll the. See if you remember this guy. It has okay. nothing to do with Acorn. You remember this guy? Remember this guy? This is the guy out of uh, Burger King that was a bad employee, a rogue employee. He was taking a bath in a Burger King sink. You remember this story? I don't. Okay. This is a big deal. And he took it. Rogue employee. Burger King doesn't have a policy of people bathing in mm -hmm. their sinks, right? You don't have a policy. That, but that's one rogue employee. If... If there was a story that there were several employees in 14 different states that were what? That were, taking that were a bathing bath in no, the no, sink? No, no, no. I'm just well, saying. This, I'm just sorry. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This, is yeah. this is the parallel? This is the parallel? You're comparing bathing you as in a the company, sink. Yeah, with fraud. Okay. Well, if that's, you that's as, a, this if is the you analogy as a company, sir, yes, if 13, you were Burger King out of and you had about 40 employees that were doing that, it wouldn't be a problem with rogue employees. It would be a problem with the company. Glenn, you talking, would be a bad you, manager. You named 20 workers out of 13,000. That's what you need. I should. So what is the per, what is the sink. percentage? Which is what is which the is, percentage? Which is worse? Bathing in a sink. Just help. But let, let's go further. But let's go further. Bathing in a sink or fraud. But, but I want to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Throughout the fall, Fox talked about Mickey Mouse voting. Yes. And Jimmy John's voting. Yes. It's now six months after the election. Right. Where is the fear? Well, because clearly, no, no. clearly not one person oh. have we been able to find yeah. who voted inappropriately that we registered. No, not one. Just, no, you're just, we're not just one. finding lots of fraud. No, but wait a second. But you're so, not finding so, fraud. Wait a second. In yes. fact, we weren't charged. Yes. Wait, well, let's Voter see registration fraud. Is not what we were charged with. With. Oh, you were you just fact, were in these other states. No, okay. our so, employees were you, your employees in other states. Just like, just like Walmart if you had employees, that many employees if Walmart bathing employees, in the sink which, in, in how many pipe Walmart down, sir, pipe, employees? Pipe how down. many Walmart employees? If you had that, that many charged, shut his mic off. If you had again? that many yes, again. again yes. Shut off by if he mind. had that many employees at Burger King bathing in the sink, would you ever eat a burger there? Ever? 
No. This is unreasonable to believe he has that many bad employees. Let me ask you this question. You can speak now. Let me ask you this question. Are you so afraid of the Republicans that you have to invent voters? Are you are you that afraid? I mean, the Republicans can be beaten without for voter where, registration. So where fraud. is it? Where are the voters? Voter registration. Where are the voters that were invented? Uh, I think you got 23,000 of them in Nevada. Oh, really? You should yeah. read those facts. Because yeah, really? in fact, if yeah, really good, yeah. because if you read your facts, 23,000 were the amount of people who voted because oh, we registered. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that was the that's big a little number. bit sorry. different. That's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah you're don't right. you think? That leaves facts are kind of important. Facts are kind of important. Have you registered a voter? Fine. Have I registered Have you vote? ever registered someone to vote? No, I haven't. Okay, so you have no idea no. what it's like. I know, it's so hard. No, you know what, that's Let's why you have to you know the so process? Is it, hang on. Do you know the process? Is it difficult? Do you know the yes process? Yes or no, it's sir. Is it difficult? Question. Really simple question, even easier. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult? Is it difficult work? Do, yeah, is it difficult yeah, work? It, it is, is actually hard. So work. let me ask you this. And let me explain. Why would you? Else? No, 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 please, please, please. You care please, about sir. the facts. If I thought you, you cared about the facts. I do. Right? If it's so, so difficult, why facts. have you hired people who have been imprisoned for for for, for um, identity theft? Excuse me. I mean, really, excuse me, do you really want to go talk yeah. about that case? Yes. I want to talk about the furlough program that the state Identity offered. fraud. Please, the furlough Identity program. Identity fraud. The furlough program that the mm -hmm. state offered who released these people but it's so to hard for us. I apparently can't I'm, do it because it's so hard. No, How but, uh, did you hire what somebody is, with yeah, identity you fraud? You throw out these numbers like 23,000 and you aren't even clear what the 23,000 Help me out. Identity fraud. fraud. Are you, have no, you have nobody. Again, do, you not, nobody? do you not hear me on the state do you not furlough understand? program? Do you not Identity fraud? Excuse me? Excuse me? I got it. You talking to me? I got a state furlough program. A state furlough program. <laughs> the state turned them over. Let me ask you this. Sure, Let me ask you this Please. question. Ask name, a, name a couple of Republicans that you've backed. Um, a couple of Republicans? I can't off the top of my head. There's got to be a couple. I can't off the top of my head. How about one? As I said. One. Just one. Uh, the first time was not one. Sorry. English is my first language, so maybe I should try something else. I, not one. I can't. You can't. Off, with them. off the top of my head, no. Give you time. Thanks. He's just thinking. He's trying to come no, up with I'm one really person. No, no, no. Because you don't. No, but I think you I care about the. Gotcha. No, no, no. You I mean, care you about the two parties. Gotcha. Gotcha. If not, you really want to get to the back, gotcha. gotcha. that is exactly what it is. Because when you talked about the twenty-three thousand fact, that wasn't good enough. You're right. I just talked about the state twenty-three thousand furlough programs. That wasn't good enough. When you talk about the fact that we weren't committing registration for that wasn't good enough. Thank you. Anytime. Gresh, did we happen to roll tape on what happened in the in the middle of this in the commercial break? I uh, did not know. Uh, who thinks that he told me that I, uh, I what was it? I, I, I thought he said, I hate black people. Who? How many here th thought he said that? As soon as the cameras went off, that's just me and Aaron. You thought, you thought he... Uh, I was afraid of black people. That's what he. That's actually what he said to me. Let's just take it at that because that's better than I hate black people. Um, I was standing here and he gets up and I said, "You, sir, and your organization are bad for America." And he said, "I'll use yours. Uh, you're just afraid of black people." I threw him out of the studio. Get the hell out of my studio! And then he went off. He went off. These are. Uh, I asked him when he sat down. I said, "So what do you? What, what did you do before this?" And he said, "Well, I've always been a community organizer." I said, "Well, what did you do before this?" And he said, "I was a union organizer." I said, "Oh, what a surprise that is!" <laughs>